thank you for uh, being in another Aten Thursday. We are going to focus this Thursday on um, equipments that you can work at home. We are going to have uh, switches, uh, sharing devices. We are going to have uh, docking stations. And most importantly, we don't have any PPT uh, presentation. So everything is live. And uh, I'm, if you're thinking that you're looking at me from my laptop webcam, you're actually not. I have put a mobile, uh, mobile um, webcam because I want to show you the setup. So uh, let's start by showing you the setup, OK? So this is the setup. We are in an empty, empty table right now, OK? We have nothing, but we are preparing to put into, the, into our presentation, we're preparing to put a lot of equipment, okay? Uh, also, we're going to be filming with our camera as well, and we're going to have a presentation switch as well to be able to uh, get more angles. And uh, right now, our presentation switch is connected to our um, larger TV display. So we're, we're uh, starting from ground zero. We have absolutely nothing. And let's, uh, let's jump immediately into our first product. And our first product of my choice, we're going to focus on sharing devices. So a sharing device is something like this. It has USB ports, normal USB ports, uh, USB 3.0. And on the back, we have a special USB uh, connector. That's because we are going to accept multiple connections. Those ports, those ports are going to be connected to four sources, like four computers. And this is the first computer that we are going to connect to. And down there, this is the second computer we are going to connect to. And here, there's an Apple we are going to connect as a third computer. And the fourth computer, the fourth computer is actually going to be a docking station, which we're going to input later in our scenario. So right now, we're going to connect four computers to this device, and we're going to choose which of those four computers are going to have the connectivity on the front. So we are going to use the special USB cables that were provided. Okay, These are the special USB cables. And again, it has a classic USB-C. And then that special USB that we're having. So this is what we're going to do, OK? So we're going to connect in the back. Uh, I, hope, I hope I can film this correctly. So I'm going to connect in the back. And then I'm going to take the USB. And I'm going to connect to the first computer, OK? So this is my first port. Actually, it's my fourth. But anyway, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take my second cable, OK? This one, uh, let's see. Let's say this is computer number one. I'm sorry about the shaking. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to put this. So this is the huh? second computer. And I'm actually going to connect not here because this is my USB camera. <laughs> so I need to choose a different USB port. Again, sorry about the shaking. So I'm going to connect to my USB to the laptop. OK, excellent. Uh, let's take the third cable. And we're going to choose, uh, again, I'm going to put it in the back here. Give me a second. And as I mentioned, my third, my third device, my third device is going to be the laptop. So let's bring the Apple device. Let's bring a uh, MacBook Air. Now, uh, with all the honesty, I have no idea who, uh, whose laptop is that. I believe it's Ionella's. I just, I just stole it from the, I just stole it from my office. So, <laughs> okay, don't hate me for that. Uh, so again, I'm going to take this and I'm going to plug into the um, Apple Air. We have connected three computers, but right now we have not connected anything to share. Okay, so we have not connected anything to share. Now, what do we want to share in our houses? Well, for instance, this USB camera, which I'm using it, this USB camera, which I'm using it, and when I'm with which I'm filming right now, we can connect to this device as well. We can also connect a pair of headsets like this one. 
that usually come with a standard USB adapter. So if I want professional headsets or gaming headsets, etc., et and I want to be shared among different devices, I can connect this one. What else? Uh, I can connect regular mouse and keyboards. For instance, I can connect this mouse. Let's, uh, let's start now. So let's take the mouse and let's connect it as uh, one of our first devices. OK, give me a second. All right, so we have connected the mouse. Uh, we have, for instance, uh, a network adapter. This is a wireless network adapter. OK, so we, I can also add more network cards to my computers if I want. Uh, USBs, let's connect one of these. For, all right, so I have, I have also connected the USB. And uh, what else? OK, and to select which of my computers, like this computer, or this computer, or that computer. So to select which one will get access to the mouse and to the USB, uh, the product comes also with a push button selector. OK, so let me install this one as well. OK, so this, this one is on the back. So now I have this push button. OK, now I have this push button, and I can choose which of the computers. Right now, it's computer number one. But if I press it, then the mouse and the USB will go to computer number two. And press it again, computer number three. And if I press it again, computer number four. Now, remember, I only have computer one, two, and four. This, this is for USB. Uh, this is for the docking station, which is not connected right now. So let's see how it works, OK? So now I'm connected to computer number four. OK, which is my station there. So if I would press the button to connect to computer one. So as you can see, the mouse, uh, I don't know if you can see my camera as well. But anyway, uh, the mouse is now moving in my desktop. So the mouse that I attach to the product is connected to this one. And also the USB stick. OK, so like I said, I have connected the USB stick. Uh, and now if I'm pressing one more time, so if I'm going to computer number two, I have pressed the button one more time. So I decided that now computer number two will have both the mouse and the USB. And computer number two is the laptop. So now if I move the mouse, as you can see it, if I move the mouse, okay, it's here. And also this computer received the USB attached to it. OK, so these are this is the this is the content of this USB uh, available on this uh, station, OK, on this uh, PC. So again, this is a simple device to allow sharing up to four devices or even more. If you have a hub, if you have a USB hub, you can you can put even more. But naturally and standard, you will get four devices, four USB devices to be shared among four computers. Again, one, two. Three and the docking station is going to be four. Okay, so uh, let's take a one minute break if you have questions. So, if you have questions about this product, I'm listening to your questions right now. If your devices are something like uh, this Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy phone, or something like this tablet, okay then you need USB-C, OK? So for you having USB, normal USB 3, it's not OK. So another sharing device that Aten is selling is via USB-C, OK? It's basically the same. This one is a two device and two stations, OK? That one is a four device, four station. This is a two device, two station, OK? So that would be another device if you have USB-C and also come in the box with the USB-C type cables. Now, I mentioned we are going to play a little bit with the uh, docking station. So basically, I do have a docking station there. OK, it's already prepared. Now, with the docking station, I can enhance my experience with a device that usually is quite small. So. Let's choose the let's choose the um, uh, the iPad. I would like to attach this mouse and the keyboard to my uh, to my uh, iPad. Okay, and also also I would like to attach a large display. 
So for that, let me uh, stop sharing for, for a moment the uh, presentation. So let's um, stop sharing for a moment so you can see the camera better. So I hope you can see my, my uh, video feed right now and I hope you can enlarge it on, uh, on your screen. So now I'm going to show you how to do what to do with the docking station. So if you're choosing this docking station, the UH3230, you also get power supply. Okay. So basically how it works. So we're going to connect, sorry, we're going to connect our phone here where it has the SS sign and the small computer. So we're going to connect the phone here and then we can attach a display port and HDMI port display. We're going to attach both of them. You can add network connectivity like uh, Ethernet network connectivity. And you can also add, uh, let me see the, the light. And you can also add the USB type three. Okay. Also in the front, you can add um, a headset and you can also add another USB type C. Okay. Super. So let's start working with this one. Okay. So I put it on the table. I'm going to uh, use the cables that uh, it comes in the box and the power supply, it comes in the box. So let's, uh, let's power this on and okay, let's put it here. Some, some docking stations do not come with power supply in the box. They will rely on the power supply of your phone or tablet or laptop. Okay. Uh, that would be the models with USB-C, okay, USB Type-C. So anyway, I have the I have the power supply ready, okay. I plug it in, and then I plug it in in the device, okay. That's very simple. And now uh, I have my USB-C uh, cable here with USB-C cable here. And I'm going to connect it to my, uh, my iPad here. And now I'm going to connect this to the back of the product here. Okay, here. Excellent. So now I said that I can attach, I can attach this tablet to a very nice display. Now I already have one and I've shown you, I already have one display, but I'm actually going to use a second one. So, uh, let me move the iPad a little bit and the iPad there. So I have created some room and I would like to add another monitor on the table. All right. So I would like my uh, gaming experience or multimedia experience to be better because now I have this very nice uh, display. And this display, ah, let me get the cable, and this display is uh, a display port. Okay, it has a display port. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect the, the display port. Okay, I'm going to connect the, the display port here to my docking station. Okay, so uh, here. Okay, so now my docking station have the display port and my uh, tablet connect. So what I need to do is I need to power the monitor because right now it has no power. So let's plug it in. Maybe if I move this a little bit, that's going to be better. All right. So uh, where is the power? Okay. <laughs> my power supply cables are very, very short. All right, excellent. So I have, I have also powered the, the display. And let's bring it a little bit forward. All right, so that it will not fall. All right, excellent. So I have my display connected and let's power it on. And I have my tablet, okay, which is here. If I would, uh, if I would have my tablet correctly, okay. So now we should, now if you see on the tablet, now if you see on the tablet, it has this nice symbol like a monitor and in the past it also have this blue um, symbol and on the monitor i can see also the image of the tablet okay so on the monitor i can also see the image of the tablet and let me film better with this one as well excellent 
And now I said I would like to uh, add also a mouse in the keyboard. Okay, so I can also add a mouse in the keyboard. Okay, let's open this. So, I already have my mouse connected to my docking station. Okay, and assumingly I don't have another one. <laughs> this is the only mouse I have. Uh, I know I'm a poor guy, I only have one mouse. Uh, anyway, but my mouse is connected to my docking station. And also, I want a keyboard. Okay, because I mentioned I would like to enhance my gaming experience. Okay, so I would like a keyboard. And I can connect the keyboard. I can connect the keyboard either here on the docking station. It's not a problem. Or I can connect it here to my sharing device. Okay, but so far I have my sharing device, which is here and I have my docking station, but right now these two are not connected. I have one last cable here. So as I remember, I mentioned that the docking station is going to be my fourth sharing device, okay? So, let's plug the cables. All right, and let's plug the cable in the back. Okay, so this is my this is the computer. And now, let's connect this to any of the USB Type-C port. Okay. So I have USB Type-C port here on the back, and I'm going to connect it. That's it. So normally, the mouse and the keyboard, which is there, should be connected to uh, my gaming experience. And just to show you better, I'm going to use the secondary camera because I have a, a nicer angle. And let's bring, yeah, let's let's bring the camera a little bit with a nicer angle. Huh? Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so let's return now. Okay, let me put my camera here on the front. All right. And let's switch to presentation switch because I can I can uh, see the camera, all right? So everybody everybody can see that. So again, I have the docking station. The docking station is connected to the iPad. Okay, the docking station is connected to the iPad, and uh, the sharing station is right now on computer two. But remember, this is computer three. Okay, so I need to press the button one more time to move to computer number three. Okay, so let's open the, the iPad. All right. And yeah, I have the iPad and I also have a password. It should be here, nine, nine, uh, seven, nine. Okay, so I have the iPad. Oh, you cannot see the monitor. Yeah, excellent. Now you can see the monitor as well. <laughs> So now I can play using the mouse and the keyboard or I can see uh, movies that are here on the iPad. I can see them on my, on my nice display, on my large display. I can also uh, decide if it's a portrait or landscape so it can, it can move. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to share my screen. I forgot to share my screen. Yes, thank you, thank you Marianne for... Uh, I forgot to share the screen. So, screen one, okay. Okay, excellent, S super. So again, <laughs> let's, uh, let's do this one more time. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So uh, I have the docking station. Okay, this is the docking station. The docking station have the display port connected to the monitor. It has this USB type C connected to my iPad. So this is this one. This is plugged in. So this one goes way to, the, to my power supply. And also, I have this USB Type-C cable that's connecting to my sharing station. And as I showed you previously, my sharing station was to my uh, uh, MacBook Air, which is here right now in the back, you cannot see it. Um, this computer and the, the workstation. And now I have decided to uh, choose computer number 3. And if you remember, computer number 3 is actually this sharing uh, this docking station and now I will move the, the image a little bit up so that you can see what's on my iPad and what I have um, displayed here 
So as you can see, I can move the mouse and immediately I will show you that the keyboard is available as well. And also I have, it, I have this uh, USB uh, attached to, to, the, to the phone. Uh, let's play a game. <laughs> Should it be Fortnite or should it be Civilization? Ha! Huh, uh, tough choice. Okay, let's let's go to Civilization and wait it to for the game to load. Because I also want to show you that we can use the keyboard as well. Okay. So as you remember, I have mouse, keyboard, and uh, a USB. And um, and uh, I can also while the game is loading, I can also connect the HDMI to the large display so that I can show you that we can have two displays at the same time. So if you give me 30 seconds, uh, let me find a, yeah, let me find an HDMI cable. I will connect my HDMI cable to the docking station here. Okay, so I have connected HDMI to the docking station here. And now I'm going to connect it to the large display, which is in the back. Okay. Okay, so uh, let me move the camera so that you can see that the large display have the same image as the small display, which is display port, and the tablet. Okay, so all three of them now have the same display. Okay, this is the tablet, this is the display port monitor, and that one in the back is the HDMI monitor. So this docking station is really, really versatile. Okay, it has a lot of ports and all of them function simultaneously. So uh, I wanted to show you that the keyboard is also working. And again, normally I can, I can just play on, on, my, uh, on my iPad, but this is not the purpose. I want to play with nicer connectivity. So, uh, I don't know, let's resume the game. Hopefully it will load very fast. Okay, so, um, what else? Okay, so if you have questions until now, I am going to wait a little bit for you to ask me questions, if you have. Okay, <laughs> apparently the system thinks I'm a beginner. Okay, anyway, so uh, let me show you that the, the keyboard is working as well. So, uh, let's change the name of this city, right? Okay, so now, I'm using my keyboard, let me approach the image, just so that you can see it, uh, maybe a little bit better angle, okay, okay, so now I have the name of the city, I can delete it, I can write something, and with my mouse I can press OK. Okay, so I changed the name using the keyboard, and again the keyboard can be directly connected to the docking station. Usually if you only have the docking station, this is where you're going to put the keyboard. But just not, not, not necessarily to complicate things, but just to show you more equipments, I have connected to the sharing device. Okay, and I choose that the iPad is going to be my third device. Okay, so what other equipments you can use at home? Okay. Uh, we can use, for instance, uh, and I would like to show you uh, Samsung DeX, and for that I have borrowed a Samsung phone. So, in order to show you the Samsung DeX, I would like to change my uh, iPad with a Samsung phone. So, let's do this now. So, I'm going to unplug my, my iPad, and I'm going to plug it into a Samsung phone. Okay, so this is USB Type-C, okay, and oh, okay, and let's uh, unlock the phone. Okay, so now, now I'm on uh, Samsung DeX, and we are in Samsung DeX mode. Okay, let me switch back to the video presenter. Samsung is in normal view mode, okay, this is how you, you, you normally use it. However, the image that I'm seeing on my display, again displays because I have two, is Samsung DeX. So we are compatible with this one, okay. And I also have the mouse, which you can see it moving on the screen, okay. And also my keyboard is available and everything I have attached is also available, okay. So, 
come on. Let me move to my files. Okay, so I can go to, um, uh, I don't know, images and we can, pff, whatever. There, there's plenty of images, okay, <laughs> to, to choose from. Okay, so again, this is, this is, uh, this is Samsung DeX, but it's uh, just another interface from the Samsung. And actually this interface already blanked out because there is no need for it. Uh, but again, I can play, I can do whatever, I can, if you remember the, the killing game with everything, I can, I can restart it again, I can start the internet, I can browse it, I can connect to any stream that I have, and I can see it better than I can see it on my phone. In this mode, I can, you know, play as the phone is going to be a regular computer. It has, a, let's say, a, a Windows-like experience, something like this. And also, if I don't like Samsung DeX, so if, I, if I'm not familiar with this one and I prefer the experience more like in, in a phone matter, uh, I have this DeX image here, I have this DeX, so I can click on it and I can exit Samsung DeX. And now I'm in uh, full view mode uh, or regular, regular uh, view mode as you are on your regular phone. Okay, you can switch with your mouse, or with your keyboard, or with your finger, whatever. Okay, so if you have um, a USB-C type equipment, like for instance this phone, or the iPad that I've shown you, so you have the USB-C, okay, uh, and you would like to transform this port into multiple displays, and maybe one USB, or if you have a hub, multiple USBs, then you can use this product, okay? You can use this dual HDMI um, um, product that will transform the USB-C into a dual monitor. So you can have this one as well. Now, uh, if you remember my computer, my display, I'm sorry, my display was um, a display port. If uh, because my, my uh, station or my docking station is with the display port. However, if your display itself, like the large monitors, like the large displays, do not have this port, but only HDMI, you can use converters. Okay, so we have uh, converters that will allow you to transform the uh, display port into a regular HDMI. That being said, uh, I would like to thank you for being with me today. Uh, I hope that these two products that I have presented to you were... Um, it's a strong encouragement to change uh, the way you use your tablet at home, to use your smartphone at home. And of course we have uh, more and more products like this one, which is a simpler, much simpler um, uh, docking station. Uh, this relies on the power of your phone, like I told you in the beginning. So the charger of your phone, you need to connect it here. Uh, and also gives you uh, some ports like VGA, HDMI, a couple of uh, USB ports, and also connects with the USB Type-C to your, to your phone. We could have used that one instead of this one. However, I have, chosen, uh, I have chosen to present you this one because it's a much stronger and much robust device, okay? And also have uh, its own power supply, which we deliver with the product. This one, again, it does not have, it will rely on your charger. And uh, I don't know if, where did I put it? Anyway, uh, also at home you can use uh, wireless HDMI extenders. So if your, uh, I don't know, gaming rig is in one room, but your uh, computer is in, a, but your display is in another room, or your TV is in another room, uh, you can use an HDMI over wireless extender. Uh, that being said, I would like to thank you again for being with me today, and I hope uh, now you know how to do better in, uh, in your homes with the docking station and the switching devices. And now I'm going to uh, switch to Yonela, which have prepared for you an, uh, an offer. Hi everyone, thank you for being with us, hope you enjoyed the presentation. Uh, we prepared a promotion uh, with uh, this product that Sorin presented and uh, other similar ones. And uh, I will send the promotion uh, on email uh, for info and for, uh, for you to send to your customers or partners. And uh, if you have any other questions regarding prices or features, 
Uh, you can ask us. Uh, can you put the name of the devices in the chat? Uh, sure, sure. Why not? So let's do that right now. So, uh, so the regular USB C docking station. So we have UH uh, thirty two thirty. So this is this one. All right, and also our sharing device is uh, where is the box? So our sharing device that uh, we have used uh, this is the US um, this is the US uh, four sorry four three four uh, four computers and four sharing devices. So this is this one. Uh, if you want a sharing device, but with USB C. Then uh, this is the product. So we have the UH. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Sorry, US three three one zero. Okay, so this is this one. And what else? If you have a USB C and you want just to expand to more displays, but also keeping one USB for control, uh, you have this product right here. And this is the UH. U H and uh, this is U H. Where is it? Thirty-two, thirty-three. Right. So this is this one. Okay. So uh, these are uh, just a couple of docking stations that we have. If you want to to know more about our docking station, what we are offering, uh, I can share my screen with you. So you can just go to. Uh, com, and we have a section uh, with uh, let me close this one and we have a section oh my, my resolution is not good so let's let's return to atem.com and we have a product section and you have a USB and, and Thunderbolt subsection and from that you go to docking stations so if you want more models maybe more complex ones uh, like this one or more simple ones, yeah. So if you want a more complex one, maybe for your laptop or something strong uh, with a pass-through power supply, you can go for uh, 3237 or 3234. Uh, I actually have a 3234 right here, so I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's there. Or a simpler one, like just for gaming, uh, you can go for 3235. And also don't forget that we have a YouTube channel and you can check, for instance, 3235 was already there. Uh, we already um, create um, channel. We already create a presentation for that one. So I believe it's the first one. Yeah. So 3235, we already created the presentation for this one. So you can check it out, and you can see um, how to connect it, uh, what is the experience like, how to play, or how to watch movies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, super. Again, thank you very much. Uh, I already said thank you about ten times, but anyway, thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you next Thursday. And we are going to discuss about energy and PDUs and control the power supply over long distances from your home to your server rooms or other locations. Thank you. Stay safe. Bye.